Hi, this is Grand Evanition from CNC, and today I'm going to be talking about SIS 2.0. Now that is like a service and parts manual all into one with all the, um, uh, all the data that's been collected by Caterpillar on all the CAT um, equipment that's out there. Okay, this database is absolutely huge. Okay, so it's called the Caterpillar Service Information System 2.0. Now there was an old system of SIS, but this is quite a bit different. So you kind of have to get uh, a, gr a grip on how it actually works. Okay, through this database, you can get information on parts, uh, parts ordering, pictures of parts, service information. So like troubleshooting, um, uh, repairs, um, um, removal, installation, safety, um, uh, worries about safety situations, um, things to do with uh, specifications like torques on bolts and measurements on shafts and bearings and things like that and uh, and parts reuse guidelines so if you see a damaged part whether you can reuse it or not and how bad it can be before it actually has to be changed. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start off by going to a uh, screen to show you the QR codes that are around the shop. So this is the QR code you'll probably see around the shop. It also has the link on it. So you can use your phone to, uh, to scan the, the QR code. It'll give you the, um, it'll take you right to the site and then you have to enter your uh, username and password. The username and password is available to you. I can't uh, divulge it here because this is an open uh, video. Okay, but uh, also along the top there is the um, is the uh, link to the to the website. You can use with your laptop or or if you want to enter it on your phone or whatever. Okay, and then you can go from there to start searching. The problem with this is it is a big um, database. It's got millions, and I'm not joking, millions of pieces of data to help you with this. So if you can picture multiple bookcases or a whole library full of all this information, um, that's what they put into this database. So, so um, navigating it is absolutely critical, okay? So the first thing you do is you go to the login screen, um, and I'm going to share that with you now. Okay, so this is the login screen and you can see this will come up when you access the, the, the SIS 2.0 and then you have to enter the username and password and from that, that should take you to this screen. Okay, so, um, so it, I'm, uh, this screen is the main screen and if you ever want to get back to this main screen you can go up to the cat symbol and it will take you right to this first one okay i'll kind of show that in a minute but anyhow um just to get working on this right away um the the dzt is what i'm going to use for a um uh, a prefix okay so in order to access this information the because there's millions of pieces of data here the more refined you can make your search the the faster it will get you there now you can navigate there's a there's a navigate button and there's a search button okay the navigate i'm going to use dzt and hit navigate and it's going to start taking me through the steps to get all the information that i want okay if i had the whole serial number this is just a small part of the serial number and you add the the rest of the serial number to it it takes that prefix and that's how cat knows that this is a particular type of equipment right now i'm looking at the skid steer loader in the shop or 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 around the shop depending upon when you look at this movie. Okay, so, um, and I'm gonna hit navigate, okay? There also is external links down here. There's different little um, um, uh, updates and uh, truck engine news or engine news or equipment news, things like that. Also along the top, you can link to other things. You can, um, you can shop, you can put stuff in your cart like at Amazon and, and everything like that. So if I go to navigate on DZT, it's gonna bring up this, okay? So over on the left, 
there's a gear that look that there's a thing that looks like a gear and that's for parts looking for parts there's a repair tab right beside it and then a service tab okay the repair tab is a wrench service tab is like a service manual or a piece of paper that that they're showing you there as their as their icon okay so um so another thing you can do here is go back up to here and add more information. Say you want to put a keyword in here like alternator, okay? I'm not going to do it that way. You're going to find there's a lot of different ways to navigate this. It's just like any other, you know, like Windows or Microsoft or um, you know what I mean? Google, that sort of thing. So, um, but I'll go down to here and go to electrical system and maybe I'll go to alternator and I'm still in the parts tab. Okay, so I'll go down to alternator and I can maybe look at this alternator group. Okay, so that's going to bring up a picture. It's also going to bring up the parts over here. Okay, on the right is the parts and you can add them to your cart if you want to order them. We're not doing that. We're looking at this stuff. So number one, if I brought my finger up to number one and clicked on it, it's going to show me number one down in the bottom of the screen if I made it larger, but it also shows me what the part number of that is and a little bit of information about it. Okay, so there's, you can also go over to different stuff like this, like service articles. Okay, there's disassembly and assembly, remove and install, um, all this stuff, charging system troubleshooting, right? Special instruction for that, huge amounts of stuff. Okay, so now I'm probably gonna screw myself up and it'll look bad, but anyhow, I'm into uh, charging system troubleshooting for that alternator. Okay, safety, initial troubleshooting procedure, uh, check of alternator operation, got some great things, troubleshooting trees. Okay, this is super stuff. Okay, now I wanna go back because I wanna go to repair. Okay, so when I go to repair, you can see that my serial number DZT, there's a lot of them around, okay? So there's different serial number ranges. If you put the actual serial number in, this would only come up with the range that applied to your serial number. So this one here, uh, I'll just go to one of them, okay? And say, I wanna go to the engine, okay? So this is not gonna give you as much information as you expect. So there's alternator remove and install, okay? So let's go to that one, okay? It's gonna tell me that, that this is what it is. You should, it should actually, um, have to be done every 6,000 hours. It should take 0.9 of an hour. That's the flat rate time or the warranty pay time, okay? And then it, it'll show you extra parts that are needed, this sort of thing. So um, my last one I wanna get to, let's go right back to CAT. I said CAT will take you back to the home page. I can go DZT here again and go to navigate. It'll take me here and I can go directly to service. Okay. Now, one thing that's kind of interesting is this applied failure analysis. Okay. That's a, that's, uh, this down here is a guideline for examining failed parts. Okay. A lot of people look at stuff and they go, oh, this is horrible. Uh, I got to replace it. Um, sometimes you don't know. Okay. So the topics here are huge. It's, it's things about, um, marking parts, different ways to mark parts, looking at different uh, failures, okay, guidelines, pictures, all that information is all available to you, okay? Looking at different problems with bearings, that sort of thing. So, okay, I didn't want to spend too much time around here because I'm trying to make a quick video and that's not working out very well for me. So we get on past the failure analysis stuff and we can go to disassembly and assembly. Huge for mechanics, right? We can, we can click on that and go to a particular um, model, okay? Um, so if I go to this one and I go down to something fairly simple, like maybe uh, the muffler, the diesel particulate filter, the cab tilt, what the heck? We gotta tilt the cab on this. First of all, it'll start by giving you basically what's in the service manual you're looking at what was in the service manual or still is. You can hardly even buy paper copies anymore. So this thing's gonna show you the parts of what's, how the cab is held down. The uh, support lever, the, the uh, upper and lowering the cab and how to bolt it down, this sort of thing. Um, so this is a very simple one. We can go to, a, a, let's try the diesel particulate filter. 
I have no idea what this is going to be, but it, again, it's just the removal procedure. If you put any of these keywords in there, it's going to show you um, the same thing, right? It'll take you, it'll get you there quicker. Okay, so this is showing all the bolts you have to take off to take the DPF off. Okay, and just so you know, up in the corner right here is making a printable version so that you can print that current page. Okay, so. Um, while I'm at it, let's keep going. Um, uh, truck engine news. I, I always say truck engine news because I'm a truck mechanic. Sorry about that. Okay. Operate, operation and maintenance manual is right there, right? Um, cold weather recommendations for Caterpillar machines, um, work area vision system, stuff like that. Schematic. Lots of people want schematics. So let's see what they've got here. Um, Try this thing. Now this, this gives a basic schematic. Jay, for this little part, I just wanted to uh, show, uh, I put a 2WS up there and I just happen to know that's the serial number prefix for a, a 3406E uh, CAT engine. It'll show you that right here. Okay, and I didn't put a keyword in and I didn't stay at parts. Uh, there's parts, this is service. I went to service and I'm gonna go down to uh, electrical systems uh, for Caterpillar parts. Now this has got basic, basic stuff. So when you're looking for stuff, like I say, you can use this for a lot more. Um, I could be going into here talking about introduction to electricity, insanely basic elements, atoms, the whole thing, okay? Huge amounts of information there, right? A Coulomb, stuff like that. This is basic. Uh, information, but maybe you want to know how to use a um, electrical measurement, right? And, it, and if I went to a digital multimeter, it's going to show you how to use a multimeter, what's in the, in the, in the display, okay? This isn't, uh, this is for all, uh, it says right here, electrical system for all Caterpillar products. So what this thing will do is, is give you a basic overview, good information, Excellent stuff. Okay, just a second. I'm going to hit Control F like I was talking about, and I can put in there, maybe I'll put a multimeter in there. So every time that word comes up, it will show, it'll highlight it as I go down, multimeter, multimeter. Uh, oh, we run out of multimeters now. So um, anyhow, at the top, they're talking about a multimeter and it just hits it all the time, okay? So if you're looking for a particular word, it helps you to search, okay? So this is the idea. Again, I can go back to the start. Now, it's not just the uh, machines that we're talking about. We're talking about engines as well. So engine uh, serial numbers or serial number prefix, we can go in and put a keyword with it like an injector and hit the search button. This is the navigate button up here. And if we wanted to go back, we can go right back to here. Okay. The idea is it's huge and you've got to do a lot of circulating to find it. The um, more refined your search can be, the more numbers you have. So if you get a serial number and you just get the front three of the serial number, it'll take you to the basics of it, but you've got to get more information, um, maybe a part number or a keyword, and it'll take you to all those instances that they finds it on the whole database. Okay. So, um, and you know, that is my, um, the, the spiel for SIS 2.0. Okay, and like I said, it's a lot different than if you've used the other one, it's a lot different, but all the information is still there. And in fact, it's even a little easier to get to once you get used to it. Okay, so, um, so I'd like to thank you for watching this and I hope you have a lot of luck with it anyhow. So anyhow, you'll find these uh, links and the QR codes on the walls around the, the shop and, um, and so save it. And, um, and, and, and you can use this for research. You can use it for finding out um, how to put something together, how to take it apart, how to troubleshoot it, everything. The whole service manual, operator's manual, lubrication manual, everything like that is all in here. So thanks for watching, you guys, and uh, we'll see you out there.